All right. What's good, man? We outside of the soon to be Super Sport Garage messing with the uh, Grand Cherokee 5.7 Hemi. I got to say that. <laughs> but yeah, we out here messing with the Jeep today, man. Um, and I've been talking about blacking it out, right? So this is probably going to be like a two part video. So as you can see, I got one of the grill bezels out. I'm about to go ahead and pop the rest of these out, man. I went around the auto zone and bought me a um a new, I mean some tools to get these out. And I just popped this one out. This one wasn't that easy though. It was easy on this side, but it's harder on the other side. So I'm gonna pop these out. Try to pop the rest of them out real quick. And um they do make that little noise. I'm gonna try to pop the rest of these out real quick. This is probably gonna be like a two-part video. What I'm doing is I'm buying the uh, black inserts off Amazon, and I'll I'll, uh, I'll put the let me get the other one. I'm gonna put the link to the actual. Uh, I'm gonna put the link in the in the description where I get the parts from and whatnot, man. So bear with me, man. I'm gonna pop these out and then um, show y'all what it looked like when I'm out. Then I'm gonna show y'all me installing them real quick. So give me a second, let me pop these out real quick. So, as y'all can see, I got them popped out. That's all five of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, however many it is. That's all seven of them down there. And I'm having wrap those. I may see if I can get these wrapped. I lightweight want to wrap it myself now that I think about it. Though. I forgot about the peak, the parts. But uh, I may buy the covers for these and I may not. I don't know yet. And I'm going to definitely buy the plastic pieces that go over this. So I'm going to go in the house and order this stuff, man. Uh, this is going to be black too. I'm going to go in the house and order this stuff, debadging it. It's dirty too. I'm going out and order these, man, and order the inserts in the front. And when I come back on, I should be installing all of the stuff that I'm talking about. Uh, everything, but I'm not. I'm gonna wait till after it, I drop it off to get it painted. I get it. I drop it off to get it painted on the 17th of October. So I don't know if I told y'all that, but I'm gonna wait to actually Chrome delete this stuff. But we supposed to be going to get window tint Friday, so 5% all the way around. So we'll see what's up with that. All right. But in a minute, we're going to come back and install the black inserts. All right. What's good, man? I'm back with more content. Uh, I got my old shirt on, old hat, because I'm about to be outside messing around. With the Grand Cherokee, man. I hope y'all been liking the Grand Cherokee uh, content, man. Um, I did a muffler, mid muffler delete on that. Sound good. I've had a couple of people uh, comment on it on Facebook because I actually posted the link on Facebook as well. But today we have a box from Amazon. So. I've been talking about blacking out the truck, you know what I mean, chrome delete, and some of the things that, you know, I'm doing here and there. So, one of the things that I want to do was... 24 hours later. Alright, so my battery went dead real quick. So, let me get to this. I want to do some uh, chrome deleting on the car. So, uh, I did get some parts. Now, I ordered these off of Amazon, and I'll post the link in the description so y'all can go get them yourself. Let's check it out and see what this stuff actually looks like real quick. Alright, so I'm guessing this is what I really want to open right here. Right, get this thing open, man. Alright, little tape on here. Definitely says it was made in China. Oh no, this ain't what I'm looking for. 
grown thing. Well, I can I can do the box opening. So I ordered two things, right? But we're gonna we're only gonna install maybe one thing, maybe two today. Um, these are for the tail lights. So this is delete the chrome around the rear tail light. Uh, there's two of these for each side, so there's a total of four. Um, and this gloss is black, so it looks pretty good. All right, so I got four of these in here. They don't look bad, and it comes with uh, four screws. I want to say it's four screws for each. It should be four screws for each side. And I only see one pack of screws. That's one. You only see one pack of screws in here. Uh, don't tell me they got me. One screw. That's one. Oh, okay. That's all I need is four screws. Okay. All right. Cool. I thought I would need more. So I got those screws right there for that. Those are these go on the tail lights. Four of those. Uh, the quality. Let me open another one. The quality don't look too bad. This goes on the bigger portion of the tail light. It comes with the two-way tape on there. You press it as well as you screw it, screw it in. I think it's a 10 millimeter uh, socket that I need. Yeah, that don't look bad at all. That's it right there. See, I got my light on so y'all can see. So it's gloss. So um, I'll... I really can't remember exactly how much I paid for these. I want to say they were like 50 bucks. Yeah, I think these were $50, all right? And then I also ordered something else. And uh, these also were made in China. So let's open this up, see the quality of these. And then we're going to install these. So let's see, oh, okay. So these are the grill inserts. Now, according to some of the videos I watched, the grill inserts are actually numbered where like you're supposed to put them at. So I got the old ones out in the garage. I'm gonna try to figure out the order that they go in, but the quality of these aren't bad either. Gloss. Um, this one says A. Let me look at another one. Oh yeah, this says B L. Okay, so maybe that's B L. Yeah, so we'll get this together. We're gonna go outside in a second and then start these. I already got the other ones popped out. Y'all see me pop them out. So we'll pop these in, man. And then um, I'll tell you how I feel like they look on the car. I wonder what that is. All right, so here in a little bit, we'll go outside and install these. Well, we got them in there. What y'all think, man? I feel like it's looking good, man. Definitely looking good. Truck need wash though. All right, so I got one of these popped out, man. What you gotta do is take your, take. you can take a flathead screwdriver, pull that out a little bit, pop it out. I took this tool and kind of popped it out. So what I'm gonna do is pop these out real quick, man. I ain't gonna record this. I pop these out and I'll show you what it look like after I put the new piece on there. To get these lights out, you gotta pop this tap off. Again, I used this tool to pop, you know, to pop the back covering off. That's it right there. Um, but you got a 10 millimeter bolt right here, and then you got one right there. Them the only two bolts holding it in again. You got one right here. And one right there, then you just pop pop that one, well, huh? One right here, one right there, and then you just pop that out, and that's how you can do those. And I'm gonna uh, show y'all what it's looking like. I already got this one in, so we're gonna keep going. 
All right, gang, y'all already know what it is, man. So I got the inserts in. That's looking good right there, man. I can't wait to delete this chrome. I'm taking that off. I don't know. I, I, I'm taking this off. I'm going to, like I said, when I go get tinted up, we're going to get an estimate on how much it's going to be to black that out right there. But uh, here go the back of the truck, man. I got, that look good, man. I got those in there. Uh, this one was a struggle because the, um, the actual screw inside of there was kind of rusted out. So it was kind of stripped or whatever me trying to get it out. I ended up having to drill it out, but I got it out of there. Uh, I told y'all two 10 millimeter bolts, but it's actually a 10 millimeter here, 10 millimeter here, then the two on the inside. So, um, I would advise y'all to get, to have some of your own 3M double stick tape to see right there but none on there and on the end that was kind of stuck out too but other than that though man it came out perfect man so these was like 50 some dollars on um amazon i try to make sure i link that up in the description so in case y'all want to go get y'all some man go ahead and get them but yeah it's coming along truck coming along i might i mean it's getting kind of late but i might run and get it washed got some rims coming too um i just haven't decided if i want to go with 22 or 20s i think i'm gonna go 22 definitely gonna get rid of that crazy wheel gap right there dropped it i'm gonna drop it um put some springs on it. and i think i'm thinking about just going away from the whole air ride thing as well i uh, will see about that man but yeah uh let me know what y'all think about this man this is just a mod video we're gonna do too much and then i did say i'm gonna do some pulls but i'm gonna just go ahead and uh just upload this video and then i'll drop another video for y'all oh yeah and i'm gonna be getting rid of the chrome on the mirrors all right so i appreciate y'all for tapping in with me man i'm gonna definitely be bringing y'all more mod videos more vlogging a little bit of everything man y'all already know what it is we actually about to go up with this one man um i appreciate everybody i've been tapping in from like the uh facebook groups the cherokee uh facebook groups and stuff that i'm in on there too i appreciate the mods and those um uh, and those groups for allowing me to post my youtube content as well again i'm gonna post a link to the amazon store where y'all can get these same things from so y'all can do this to y'all uh grand cherokee man um i love this thing i love this truck um, I think I'm going to go get it washed. I know it's late, but I think I'm going to just go ahead and go through the wash anyway, man. But until next time, man, I'm going to highlight y'all, man. Peace.